viewers, you're welcome to Nigeria High Standard Universities with Development Platform. Nigeria High Standard Universities are specially selected universities that have carved a niche for themselves through quality standard and modern infrastructural development. To participate in this special TV report, the university must be recognized, accredited, and of course, licensed by the National Universities Commission of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Our special report today is on Base University Nigeria. Base University Nigeria is located in Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I am Sonny Gemsachi David. We'll be back after this time out. Please don't go away. Nigeria High Standard Universities. Yes, Nigeria High Standard Universities. Nigeria High Standard Universities is a flagship TV program that is specially designed to promote and unveil the modern technology potentials and facilities of some specially selected Nigerian universities with high standard infrastructure and conducive learning environment. Is your school technology driven? Does your school have the required infrastructure and conducive environment that can compete with other world class universities? Would you like to show the world the level of technological development in your institution to attract international recognition? You are just one click away from the Hall of Fame. Join the list of the Nigeria High Standard Universities with Development Platform on this station. For inquiry and participation, please call 0813-482-8526, 0818-708-2257, 0806-283-0069. Nigeria High Standard Universities, your window to quality education and desired institution. What else can parents give as lasting assets to their children than quality education? Some parents in the verge to acquire standard education for their children go the extra mile just to make sure that that child is given the best of education he or she deserves. Before now, many Nigerians thus feel compelled to send their children to be educated abroad, all in search of better education, but often at outrageous amount per year for tuition, traveling and living expenses. Bayes University, Abuja, Nigeria, delivers the same quality of education at no extra cost. Founded in April 2011 with a foundation class and three faculties, Business Studies, Law, Computing, and IT, Bayes University, Abuja is one of the most outstanding privately owned university in Nigeria with overwhelming futures and strong academic potentials with a vision to be a distinctive quality-based educational institution, making a difference in the nation's history through the positive impact of its service and graduates' output. The mission of Bayes University, therefore, is to establish and maintain a most suitable academic environment, synergizing world-class human capital and best technology for creating and imparting knowledge that will develop and modernize the Nigerian society. Bayes University is licensed by National Universities Commission and UC of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Another intriguing aspect of the university is the architectural masterpiece and the attractive nature of the general environment that can compete with any standard anywhere in the world. Others include superb teaching equipment and conducive learning environment, quality lecturers, well-trained management staff, standard laboratories, state-of-the-earth library, well-informed security personnel and first-class student welfare package, highly sophisticated IC facilities that can provide students with internet access, making projects and researches simple and interesting as students can use their window phones, iPods and laptops to browse internet at any location within the school environment. The founder, who also is the pro-chancellor of the university, is an academia who believes in standard and quality education, a one-time senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in the person of Senator Dati Baba Ahmed, PhD. Like he will always say, I see Bayes University setting standard for excellence in this part of the world. Senator Dati Baba Ahmed is a man with a vision driven by passion with a clear direction. Bayes University delivers quality by having experienced international staff, superb teaching equipment, overseas external examiners, 
and first-rate building to guarantee standard. Bayes University aims to provide university education to British standards in Nigeria at about half the cost of sending a student to study abroad. The university's second convocation ceremony saw the presence of high-level dignitaries from far and near. During the convocation ceremony, Bayes University made an open display of their products and showcased the quality of students and lecturers at Bayes University, with over nine students making first class in law. Professor Michael Hodd is the serving vice chancellor of the university, an economist by training with proven wealth of experience in university administration. Let's meet with the vice chancellor. Well, the idea for Bayes University started in around about two, 2005 and a long period elapsed before we secured the site for the university and began the building of the facilities and the university got its license to start in March 2011. Uh, we then took our first set of students in September 2011 and our first group of students were 17 in number and the university population has grown over the f four years we've been operating uh, to around about 1,500 and we started with things uh, that we knew there was a big demand for them by students. So we started with computing, law, and business. Uh, they also don't require tremendous amounts of complicated equipment for the teaching. So th that was a consideration. Um, and we're now at the stage of expanding beyond our initial set of programs to start with engineering, uh, a medical school and uh, a, a school, sorry, a faculty of the uh, environment. Well, it was established because we understand that there are many parents who send their children overseas to the United States and the United Kingdom for education uh, because uh, they're cautious about the quality of the public universities in Nigeria. Now, Bayes is set up in Abuja, which is the center of the country and very easy to reach because there is good transport and communications and so on. That, set, that, that sets the minds of the parents very much at rest. If there are problems, then we can call the parents, they can be here within 24 hours and we can sit down with the parents, discuss the problem and see what's the best way of, of dealing with it. So that's one advantage we have over a, over a program in the United Kingdom or the United States. Uh, the, the second thing is we feel that we can provide uh, a standard here certainly at the level of uh, the average British university and we can do it for half the cost of sending a child to the United Kingdom or the United States. Added to that, there's, there's the peace of mind that the parents have, that their children are close at hand, and if they get into difficulties, uh, they, can, they can soon find out about it. Well, it would be unfair of me to ha have a rating. Uh, if, if you look at the international ratings that are done by uh, independent bodies who make this their business, uh, the, the situation is pretty, pretty dismal. There have been occasions when Nigeria hasn't had a single university in the top 5,000 in the world. And sometimes they haven't had a university in the top 10,000. So as far as international comparisons of the university system is concerned, there's a lot to be concerned about in, Ni in Nigeria. One of the things that has changed is that at the beginning the universities here were very international. 
About a third of the staff were scholars who'd come from the United Kingdom, the United States, Australia, New Zealand. Very, very good. Improvement is all about adapting to change. All the time, the universities need to be looking over their shoulders, seeing what new developments there, there are, incorporating these as soon as possible into their teaching and their programs. Now, it's very expensive to send someone overseas for their education. And we can do a program for Nigerian students here in Nigeria at a comparable standard to an average British university for half the cost. So if we're wanting to send people overseas, you can send twice as many to Bayes as you could if you were only sending them to uh, the United Kingdom. Uh, secondly, our standards. How do we ensure that our standards are as I've described, those comparable to uh, the average British university? Well, first of all, we have overseas scholars, international appointments, who are in charge of the uh, main departments in the school. So the deans, we've appointed overseas scholars as deans for the three faculties. Um, since then, we've replaced one of those deans with um, uh, an, a Nigerian academic. And the second thing is, we have external examiners from the United Kingdom. Now the external examiner system is to check on standards. And the external examiners who have come have made some important and valuable suggestions. But at the end of the day, they've been satisfied that our standards are comparable to those in, in the United Kingdom. And we're in a central location in, in Abuja, enabling parents to have rapid access to their children in the event of problems. Uh, the, the campus has got a very strong cadre of trained security staff and a comprehensive CTV system monitoring all outside areas of the campus. We take the security very, very seriously. It's the students who need to be at the centre of teaching and learning, and it needs to be teaching and learning which is going to engage their interest and encourage them not to do what's necessary to pass the course, but to do something that's going to look impressive and which a future employer is going to look at and ask some questions about and think, hmm, you know, here is someone who can make a good contribution to uh, the work of whatever it is, a bank or a ministry. Um, we have state-of-the-art computing facilities with internet access via a high-speed fiber optic cable. So we paid for the last kilometer from the, from the cable, I think, which goes from the center of town up to the airport. Uh, there's a branch over to the bays. So we have a very good internet connection. It's very reliable. When we first came here, we had to rely on ha having little USB dongles to make our connection. It's now much faster and, and much, much more reliable than that. And we have Wi-Fi connections to every building on the campus. So the students can uh, access the internet from the hostels, from the cafeterias. Uh, we have access here through the Bayes portal um, to many thousands of e-books and specialized subscriptions to collections of e-journals uh, in business law and computing. The computing is, is tremendously important. Sport is enormously important and I think it's got a, an awful lot to offer Ni Nigeria. First, let me just say on coming here, something really struck me. Nigerians really like people who are winners, who are very good at sport, bring international recognition to the country. Now, there's tremendous talent here as far as sport is concerned. Nigeria does tremendously well, even though the facilities here are not as extensive as they are in some other African countries. If Nigeria had better facilities, and every child 
had good facilities in their school, then none of the talent that there is in Nigeria would go to waste and Nigeria would be an enormously successful sporting country. We hope we're doing a, we hope we're doing a good job here. The key thing about a, a university is how well it adapts to change, how up to date it keeps things. And universities are always looking for new ways of organising and so on. And um, we've tried to incorporate as much as, po as possible of what is good in university systems in the United Kingdom uh, and also in Nigeria uh, in, in order to keep providing uh, what's necessary for a good education and which will please the parents because we've done a done a good job. So making sure that we have up-to-date equipment, a state-of-the-art delivery of teaching and learning to, uh, to the students. It's also very important that we have some inter international influence. The deans, uh, the vice-chancellor and so on, the people in key leadership positions in, in the university uh, have experience overseas and they bring that experience to uh, our programs here. And we try to take the best things from the Nigerian system. One thing which I think is better in the Nigerian system than it is in the UK is the ability of the parents to be involved in the progress of their children when they're at university. Now the interesting thing in the UK is the parents cannot ask to see the student's exam results unless the student gives them permission. The university is not allowed to contact the parents without having the student's permission. That can be very, can be very awkward where the child has got into, where the student has got into difficulties and it's going to need collaboration between the university and the, and the parents to get them over this difficulty. But very often our hands are tied in the United Kingdom, whereas here we can call the parents in immediately. And, you know, I think that's much better. The changes that have occurred in communications have, have been fantastic for, for Nigeria. Now with the advent of uh, uh, mobile phones, and the mobile phones have become enormously sophisticated. The amount of technology that's in a little smartphone is, is absolutely staggering. And now people are uh, encouraged to take advantage of these things. And that's, that's, that's why we give great emphasis to all our students being uh, competent in dealing with uh, social media, uh, mobile phone technology, the use of the internet, and, and so on. These are ways of communicating. Communicating expands our knowledge. We don't encourage people to go onto Facebook in the lectures. In fact, to turn on your mobile phone is a disciplinary offence. Otherwise you find that students are texting each other and, and so on during the, during the classes. We're very interested in whatever occurs in the line of new developments. Uh, the, we, we have a, a really excellent ICT manager and we have a first-rate computing department. Out of the first 28 students who graduated, seven of those students got first-class degrees. And uh, I'm, I'm, very, <laughs> I'm very, uh, very proud of that. Remember, these first-class de degrees were moderated by external examiners who'd come from the United Kingdom. So what they're in fact saying is, these students are good enough to have got first class degrees in the places where the external examiners came from, University of Reading, University of Westminster, and so on. We do everything we can to provide up-to-date equipment, both to the computing department, computer department, and also to the IT manager who deals with communications within the university. Uh, it's, 
it's very expensive. There's money very well worth spending. We're, we're expensive. There's no doubt about that. And we're expensive because we want to provide good services. Uh, scholars coming from overseas to work here. Very expensive to hire them. We have to pay international rates for them. We also pay higher than the, than the uh, re recommended NUC rate to all our staff, but we pay 25% more. So that's very important in, in uh, at attracting good people. Uh, at the moment, we've got a tremendous building program underway. Three huge faculties, engineering, medicine, and environmental science starting up. And we work as efficiently as we can with our resources. And any surplus we have, we contribute to the building program. So uh, the campus will be almost completely developed um, uh, within the next two years. Our motto here is learn to live. The more you can appreciate things and your life is a richer experience. The man who is now the president is quite extraordinary. Nigeria is extremely lucky to have someone like him who is persistent enough to lose a series of elections and still offer himself uh, for election and then finally to be successful. And I think people are much more confident now that public money is going to be uh, well spent. <laughs> and uh, yeah. people who have, who, have, who have stolen money from Nigeria uh, will, be, will be brought to book. Nigeria doesn't need much in order to make it a really rapidly growing country and you know very powerful in, in world sport and, and culture and so on. People, are, people here are culturally very confident. Many people wear traditional dress the whole time. You don't find that in other parts of Africa. Bayes University is strategically located at plot 686 Cadastral Zone C00, Jabi Airport Road Bypass, behind National Judiciary Institute in Federal Capital Territory, FCT of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. For admission or inquiry, please take note of the contacts on your screen. Nigeria High Standard Universities. Yes, Nigeria High Standard Universities. Nigeria High Standard Universities is a flagship TV program that is specially designed to promote and unveil the modern technology potentials and facilities of some specially selected Nigerian universities with high standard infrastructure and conducive learning environment. Is your school technology driven? Does your school have the required infrastructure and conducive environment that can compete with other world class universities? Would you like to show the world the level of technological development in your institution to attract international recognition? You are just one click away from the Hall of Fame. Join the list of the Nigeria High Standard Universities with development platform on this station. For inquiry and participation, please call 0813-482-8526, 0818-708-2257, 0806-283-0069. Nigeria High Standard Universities, your window to quality education and desired institution. This is Bates University you just watched. This is just the size of the program for today's edition. For participation and inquiry, please take note of the contacts on your screen. Until we come your way again, same time, same station, I remain your uncle, Sonny Kipsnachi David. Bye for now.